The stories you've never heard. Who did Suzanne Hill famously slap? The jokes behind the jokes. What would happen if I did a great big fart? For the first time ever on Ash Lutzi and Suzy O'Neill. <laughs> we go behind the laughter. First producer's pod for the winter school holidays break. Hello, Ooh. everyone. Hello, Woo-hoo. Lockie. Hello, Alicia. Hello. Hello, Hello to myself, Nick. I don't really <laughs> introduce myself. I realise it's a bad habit of mine. I never actually introduce myself. It feels, mm. I don't know, it feels a weird, like, I don't know. Everybody, not, not, we're here with Nick. Thank you. Hello, Nick. Oh, thanks, guys. Nick. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, we've all had a, a bit of a week off. The guys, of course, back in one week's time. Uh, how's the week been? How have you been? Is it just, do you guys go back to a normal sleep schedule or do you do try and keep oh. what you're used to? No, I go immediately back to normal. Because uh, I'm naturally a, a night owl. Yeah. So, like, it just goes back to my natural habit of staying up until midnight, 1 a.m. and getting up at... 9, 10 a.m. Yeah, instead. S- same for me. I, yeah. I was a, asleep last night, I reckon, one thirty, And I, what, not by not by choice, but just because my body... Yeah. yeah, your body actually openly rejects what we do for a living. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. I try to keep to it. I'm still eating dinner at like 5 p.m. like a grandma, but... Yeah, you yeah. give off winter hibernation sort of vibes. <laughs> yeah, I hibernate year round. <laughs> no, fair enough. Fair enough. No, look, as we said, yeah, it's, uh, we're one week into into the break. I hope you've all been enjoying the Simply the Best podcast put together by the team. Just enjoying the best of 2024, gone so far. And uh, yeah, we've got a big second half of the year coming up. But uh, just checking in uh, over the break, you know, I've been just keeping the socials ticking over, just getting a little bit more unhinged mm-hmm. every single day. Uh, right. What have you guys been up to? Well, Nick, you bring up socials and I do want to do a check-in because I did see, do you know how on Instagram you do, uh, like when you're scrolling through Instagram, you, uh, they might suggest a post to you. Mm. And then you can see, I like to play a game of who, which one of my friends has liked this post. Oh, did, did, okay. So so I see, I see a post and I go, well, Instagram clearly thinks that I might be interested in this, but obviously someone that someone, I know yep. has probably liked this or maybe it's my past That's engagement. why you're seeing the exactly. post on your feed. This is uh this is what I saw, Alicia. I just want to show you the the post okay. first. This is dangerous. This feels like a stitch up. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. feels like an absolute stitch up. Uh, it it says, remember, any job can be remote if you dissociate hard enough. <laughs> Liked by Nick B. Davis. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I just want to check in. Are you going okay, buddy? Where's the lie? <laughs> yeah. Where's the lie? I'm, I'm reassociated right now, but yeah, sometimes when I step out of the building, then I just go off into a different reality, things. which is fine. I also, uh, while we're speaking of Instagram and kind of checking in, I noticed a couple of things have changed in the past week since I've last seen you. One, quite obviously. We saw each other very quickly. And well, yes, but even even then. One, something's changed. You now have... Uh, I, I guess you've upgraded your phone system. I have. It's oh, happened, yeah. guys. Yeah, look, Alicia. Nick's look at this. Finally in the look at this. I sold out. How are you finding it? Um, I mean, other than feeling like a corporate shill. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's actually it's very good. It's look. I've been on using Android or Google Pixel for a very long time, and I'm just making the like again. It's learning a whole new phone. Yeah. Like I feel, I, hate that. I feel like you know, very luddite, just you know, double finger tapping, <laughs> trying to move. I'll, I'll get used to the format. Yeah. I'll get used to the format. But uh, already, as um, uh, we had some little visitors in the station <gasps> mm. today. Had some from Guide Dogs Queensland. Little yeah. puppies come in and. I was a little bit too excited about the ability to airdrop it to other people. I'd, oh. never, I'd never done it before. And uh, I, the I whole 20, 2017 was the last time I had an iPhone. And the last time I saw it, I feel like I left it on top of one of the uh, Casanova cars. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. And I've never been able to find it and find my iPhone. And every now and then I check my Mac just to see if it's going to pick like, <laughs> It's not coming back, Nick. Like, yeah. Let it go. Let it go. But anyway, uh, a few days in, feeling good. Now, Lockie, I'm sure you're about to stitch me up again. No, well, I'm not about to stitch you up, but I think you know what is coming because... I don't know. I do a lot to draw. Once again, I was scrolling through Instagram mm. and I've... I've I noticed this as well. Yeah, Alicia... Lockie did text me about it as well last uh, wow. night. I, I messaged Alicia and I said, hey, have you, have you clocked this? Uh, Nick Davis. I, 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 whenever someone updates their Instagram profile picture... I'm always aware of that. You, yeah, you, good. I mean, interesting you picked up on that. You, you've gone back to, a, I might say, quite an old photo of yourself. It's two years old, yeah. Well, you had hair. I, you had hair. I still then. have hair. I just shaved it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I also noticed there's a big blue... Check mark. Check mark next yeah. to your name. Mm, yeah, now, look. Do you have to pay for that these days? I mean, I'll claim it back on tax. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I knew it wasn't going to be... No, a, 100%, yes. Uh, but you, you've got the check mark. What, what, what sort of... Um, 
privileges does that give you? Honestly, um, I've been disappointed. It hasn't given me any new privileges so far. Any it, new it, followers? Any? Uh, no, not yet. Look, uh, for, for reasons all out on the table, that's just me trying to uh, legitimize the business I do outside of this. And I think just having something constant across my social media feeds, mm. I thought was a next step. I, c- I can tell because you've got the GoDaddy website, uh, the website that you've built on GoDaddy. Or through through how some. You, how do you know my provider? Well, That's because weird. you when you go click on your website, it says powered by GoDaddy. Okay, well, can you say so you, you, you paid for you paid for the Instagram verification, but you didn't quite pay enough to have the GoDaddy thing removed from your website. <laughs> I am very very inconsistent. Uh, that website is nickdavismedia.com. Oh, okay. Lockie, if you're going to hold it up and show it to me, you may as well read it out. Uh, we Jesse's just have a, at would the you, door. We just have an inch. Hi, Jesse. Our lovely receptionist, Jesse, just Jessie. walked in. Hello, Hello. Jesse. We're just doing a podcast. Is everything all right? Um, we actually need Nick. Oh. oh. Okay. For what? Uh, you guys talk about me behind the back for what a little bit. What have you done, Nick? I'll hear it in the edit. <laughs> More specifically, engine help. Oh. oh. Car help. Engine help. I wouldn't trust Nick with that. Yeah. I mean, the guy rides a bicycle. <laughs> Why are they... Literally, pick anyone else in the o- pick anyone else in the office. <laughs> yeah, Nick rides his bike in every day. Yeah, pick anyone else in the office who is more familiar with cars. W- why was he chosen? Very anyway, good. I guess he is know it all. Nick, he probably knows a he thing. He probably does know something. He's probably watched a random YouTube video at some point and it's oh, stuck in his brain. H- how long do we reckon? Because we might edit this down. It, c- it could be a lot of padding from you and I. But how long do we reckon it's going to take? Oh, fix? I don't think he's coming back to the podcast. Oh, you don't think I so? I don't think so. Oh, so it means we can just continue to talk about what's going on behind the scenes without him. Yeah, I think. So, how, how was your last week been? Because we've we've had a week of no show so far. It's, yeah, it's a Monday morning time mm. we're recording this. Mm-hmm. Uh, a week off. It's been good without yeah, the guys. Been, well, I mean, it's been very quiet. I'm mm. a routine gal, so I don't like yeah. being thrown out of my routine. Yeah, okay. Survey break. He's back. Oh, he's back. I thought you weren't going to make it back for the for the end of the pod. Really embarrassingly, um, there was a car with a flat battery downstairs. Now, first of all, rude of them to assume just because I'm a man that I know how cars work. We well, said that we were like, am, Nick's got a bike. Yeah. yeah. I am the least qualified person. That's what I said. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it's, okay, it's not. It's not for you to say. <laughs> well, anyway, continue. How, what What was the issue? Oh, there's a flat battery in one of the Casanova in the supernova cars. And, and so, why that. were you the one called? Because I'm a man, and they just thought I knew how well, to fix. And flat so, batteries. you fixed it in what thirty seconds? No, I abandoned it immediately and walked away. I said I'm going to be no help in this situation. <laughs> okay, I've got, po- I've got a podcast to record. I appreciate the honesty there. Uh, Alicia was just going through what the last week has been like. Mm. Not having the show on, not having the guys in. Mm. Later mornings, I'm assuming. Later mornings, yeah, so not, not so good. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been very quiet, just trying to quietly plan the show behind the scenes. Mm. A few people that aren't quite getting back to me that need to get Ooh, back to me, so I need to follow that, that up this week, and uh, and yeah, we'll see how we go. What about you, Lockie? Uh, also, similarly, much more quiet. There's some, some I thought s- you were expecting a very hectic couple of weeks. Uh, well, look. I am. I'm just trying to play it down. It has been. It has been fairly, <laughs> fairly labor intensive. Samara, who's usually head of fun and games, she still is f- head of fun and games. She's taken a week off because she she deserves it and needs mm. one. Mm. Which also means we don't get to see Bento for a week. <gasps> That's Samara true. is Bento's mum. Exactly. Anyway, I've then been stepping into Samara's shoes, so I'm getting lots of the emails that should be going to her about things that I have no idea They're about. The grade, yep. <laughs> and so it's like, oh hey, um. I've just noticed Samara's away. Do you know anything about these contracts with <laughs> with these I should say. External... I should not be leaving you in charge of contracts. Not... Well, I should say, because technically at the moment, Lockie is Samara and I am Buzz. So between us, we approved something the other day that I don't know if should have been approved, yeah, but we that's... just approved it anyway. Hey, look, at the end of the day, with the next soldier up mentality, uh, they've put that trust in you. Exactly. You, can, you can stand by your convictions that yeah. you were the right person and in the, that moment to make that decision. The business, if it goes ahead, the business should be getting some some decent coin from this thing. So we've mm. approved and I would it. I would like to see that sort of reciprocated back to you. Uh, and I, I think, I wonder if that's the case, whether we get some sort of kickback because we were the ones who approved it. I don't think that's how it works. I don't think so. But if, if <laughs> maybe we, maybe that should have been part of the thing that we agreed to. We go, hey. Put it in my contract. Whenever wh- Boz is off, I get commission <laughs> or, <laughs> approvals. Or we'll simply just say, we'll only approve this if they can throw in an extra, I'll, I'd take an extra five grand. <laughs> Jeez, in this economy. Yeah, okay. Well, Lockie, would you, you you you'd take an extra five grand? Well, I wouldn't say no. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, if you do need that extra five grand to help out your bank account, Ashlots and Susie, one hundred k pay your bills returns Ayo. on Monday. Great, 
great for you, Nick. No, no, I've been, I've been, I've, I've been tasked, I've been tasked with the challenge of really like pushing that this hard on socials as well. Mm. And this is like, and how, how are you going with that? Um, I've got a new meme about to drop today. Uh, I, well, that's the thing. Look, Monday uh, memes. And, and, and I'll be, Monday meme dump is coming up very soon. <laughs> I've, I've given Lockie a bit of a preview as well. Um, I, yeah, I was working. I did like the ones last week. Yeah, good. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I, unfortunately, I set a very high bar last week. But <laughs> you did. But I want I want this to become a staple going forward. But it, this is okay. I'll just take you really behind the scenes. So. Again, I run the socials here at um, Ash Lost Sues, aka admin, aka a meme lord. But <laughs> part of my job, part of my job is yeah. to help promote uh, our giveaways, our competitions, all that stuff. Now, naturally, that stuff, and we can all be honest here, isn't the highest drawing stuff. Yeah. You don't see a poster for a competition. Go oh, smash that like button, share that around. So I have to be quite creative in that sense in a way to you know i have to sell the message that's part of the job i do have to make sure that people do understand that we are giving it what you the listener if you look at your social feed you can go oh they are paying bills to a hundred thousand dollars well for for example right i follow uh, a couple of different radio accounts there's one specifically from new zealand that i think their breakfast show is hilarious but i only engage with their content i don't engage with the competitions they're doing because I'm not I'm not eligible to win. I, I can't win their competitions because I'm in Australia. I love that you probably check the T's and C's there. Yeah. Anyway, I think that there is probably some people who follow the Ash Lutz and Sue's account who similarly engage. At least got a hand up. Yeah. Throw, you, throw, yeah, throw yeah I'm, I'm glad you follow the account. Um, my, no, my cousin follows from England. Okay. Yeah. Great. Oh, I think good. She just likes to see what I'm doing. Oh, that's nice. She oh, likes so to oh, support. Oh, we're we'll, we'll nice. working into more of the content. <laughs> but there's there is. Uh, an audience out there, uh, like social media, is a is a global audience. Yeah. Radio, to an extent, is as well because you you can get the Nova Player app, and I assume that app also works overseas as well. Absolutely. But social media is a very like it's it's an international. There's no restrictions. Absolutely, You're not restricted yeah. to I guess a broadcast. No uh, radio frequency. wave signal. Exactly. Absolutely. And so your job is to then sell what we're doing. That's mostly targeted at the people who live within this certain area around Brisbane to sell it to potentially an international audience. Absolutely right. I can I can carry that message wherever it goes, but at the same time, I have to make sure that people know like, what mm. the competition is without it being too much of a stretch to work it out. So that messaging has to be there. But also, I can't... like No one wants to be advertised to. Oh, yeah. On, you, know, you see an ad come across your feet, you're swiping straight past it, unless it's you know algorithmically targeted at you and you wonder, oh, how did I just get an ad for this? Great, because, because it listens to everything. Great example of that at the moment, I think, is, and I have to be careful what I say, there's a certain streaming box that's just been released. <laughs> yes. And I, I feel like I'm being flogged over the head with con- like content, so to speak, but it's just ads. Of course it is. Promoting, promoting this new streaming box slash TV system thing. And you, every time I see an ad, I go, oh. Not this again, because you're right. No one likes to be no, no, and, and no one likes to. to feel like they're sold to. So you have to do it these days very underhandedly, mm. but with a level of honesty at the same yeah, time. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not trying to trick you into it. Like, I'm trying to tell you, yeah, we're doing this mm. awesome giveaway, but at the same time, like, you know, you have to you have to be engaging with it. I'm not just going to like because that at the end of the day hurts our feet. Like, yeah. that, like that hurts our a poorly performing post, as anyone would know, mm. hurts your algorithm and hurts your post performance. So that's something that I really have to consider, especially when I'm pushing our competitions. But at the same time, this is commercial radio. So we have to keep that, you know, whether we have a client attached or we have the business, we have to make sure that that's signed off on, but also make it creative too. Mm. Great. Thank you. Yeah. What, a, what a summary. I wasn't well, sure where we were going with that, but... Lockie, I never know where we're going when we start this podcast, yeah. but I think that's the fun. I really think that's fun. I think that's also why I seem to have trouble every time I come on air with the guys, like in a four-minute break, oh. because I'm so used to just unstructured rambling that when I'm caught in like a four-minute little gap, I'm going, no, guys, I want to cook for a while, and I see Buzz doing the little wrap-up signal. I'm like, but we just started. <laughs> Guys, we've only just got past the introduction here. Nick needs bullet points. Yeah. Is the point. This, you know that's not going to work for me. <laughs> you know that's not going to work for me. But yes, yeah, so, so coming up for the rest of this week, you, you know, you're going to be ch- you, you're gonna be bounty hunting people. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm just going to be just really punching at our socials. I've been a little bit punching the comments too. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, I, I yeah. haven't really checked it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't checked the comments. I had a, I had a nice one the other day. Someone decided to uh, uh, call the guys flogs and I just decided oh. to... Uh, <laughs> I mean, look, look, if you're going to walk into our account and you're going to walk into our comment feed mm. and think that you can get away with it... Do you know what is fascinating? You will be punched back. I, I love counterpunching. I kind of want to do it now just to yeah. see what you come back with. I, um, 
I, I love don't know what image that would give checking because let, let, our, our primary focus on socialist Nick. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems our social strategy uh, is majority Instagram. Uh, May- Instagram right now, maybe is- some Insta- maybe some TikTok. Uh, on the side, some if there's a if there's a good Instagram video, you might put it up on TikTok as well. Spot on. If something I believe translates well to TikTok, then I'll do that. I see a lot of like a lot of radio clips mm. from other stations, and they just post the same thing to everything. I'm going, you're killing yourselves here. Mm. Like don't don't do that. Uh, stuff that I think works for TikTok, I'll put there. Yep. But again, it's relatively new. Like you know, TikTok is an absolute juggernaut, and radio in general is very behind on that. Mm. But I don't think radio stations know how to speak to that audience yet. Yeah, okay. especially ironically because the TikTok audience probably isn't a radio audience too. So getting that cut through is, re- is a really interesting challenge. Um, I've just brought up I've just brought up this comment here. I, for the su- for the sake of this person's dignity, I won't I won't name. Don't their... dox them. But you oh, can oh, go on the Instagram just to see. Yeah, so. but you, you can go there. Um, uh, it was a, I, look. This was a nice post. It was uh, halfway through well, halfway through the throwback throwdown year. So I decided oh, to post yeah. some old throwback yeah. photos yes. on the Thursday. How original. Um, of the guys and some of the biggest song wins for the year. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are very complimentary, but uh, someone decided to go, who's the biggest flog? Capitals for flog as well. Um, and I've just hit back with, uh, judging by how many likes your comment got there, Chief, we might have ourselves a new clubhouse leader. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Sorry, we're all, we're all, I was pulling Lachlan. up the post, but you put music on it. Now so. I put music on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, what I was going to say was that it seems our strategy seems to be Instagram primarily. TikTok, maybe a bit to the side. Facebook, we just kind of duplicate posts from Instagram. We do, yes. There's a share. There's and a shared all function. The time. There. Is there a, like a? Is there? A yeah, not a no. Uh, videos don't seem to go through there. Um, some places cut videos at a different format to like you know, sixteen by nine by sixteen. The vertical is the way you go for Instagram. That doesn't seem to work very well on Facebook. I know some places recut their video um, for a four by five format. Sorry, this is really yep. meta stuff. Yep. But we're talking about meta, so. Yeah. Um, but that, also, those videos don't perform very well either. Lockie's just going to step away from the microphone because he just loved that joke so much. Uh, <laughs> Lockie, once you get all the laughter out of your system, mate, uh, you, you can come back. You can come back. But yeah, it's, uh, Facebook's Facebook's a very... I look at it as a bit of a, an abandoned wasteland at the yeah. moment. It still, it still has reach, but I look at Facebook and I know this is me speaking as a 32-year-old. So I think mm. Instagram is the was the cool platform when we came through. It's like a party. When your parents turn up to a party, it's no longer cool. And that's what happened to Facebook. Yeah. God, I, I, honestly, I, I, reckon just... about, I reckon about five years ago. Not to say, though, that I, don't, I may start changing our Facebook comments, uh, our Facebook you know, uh, content to target that audience. Wow. Yeah. Now, so I'm thinking about like real boomer style memes, like big impact font. <laughs> Minions. Min- yeah, a bit of minion posting, a bit of like mum wine content. <laughs> Honestly, honestly, I think that'll work. Yeah. Well, th- that'll this work. is this is the thing because I'm not sure if you've had a look at our Facebook comments. I had a bit of a dive the other day just for fun to see what people were commenting, and there is truly some remarkable stuff. Oh, truly, there is absolutely in the in the comments section. It's a whole new world. On it, it, there's something. You no, know, we now you know, Facebook because you had to give over like essentially your full identity, unless you know some people seem to have the old uh, husband and wife shared account, oh, which yeah. uh, you just know that Darren mm. was looking at the wrong photo at the wrong time, and well, guess what? You've got a shared account now. Uh, but I think also I'm so surprised by the fact that people on Facebook, I mean, bless them, they are willing to stand by their deranged comments with full links to oh. their name, their jobs, yeah. their identity. I'm going. Um, you know, most people you hide behind cowardly. I will say hide behind like burner accounts. But yeah. uh, good on you. I'm um, like you know Darren from Kabulcha who uh, went to the school of hard knocks and University <laughs> of Life. Um, yeah. I'm glad you've shared those thoughts. We'll uh, give you a call at your office at um at Trade Co and just follow up on that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm just identity little... of course hidden for protection. Yeah, yeah. There there is some truly. If you want to have a little bit of fun, just go through some of the Instagram, so some of the Facebook comments, and just go what what. Better things do you have to do with your time than to comment? I always like the idea that these people are sitting down at an old PC (laughs) with a big keyboard, just roll down their sleeves, crack their fingers and... Get ready to go to war. Two finger typing. Yeah, two finger typing. Smash. Yeah. Yeah. But I... I, Look, my my dad, because he's the only one on Facebook, my mum doesn't have social media at all. I imagine he would be similar. Like, not... He wouldn't say those exact things. But the stuff that he's posting, and the stuff even like that he's starting to share AI generated. Oh, and does he think it's real? And oh, thinking no. it's real, uh, and so maybe maybe that's a social content uh, strategy you can use 
be like, oh, great photography, and it's clearly oh, AI yeah. generated. Honestly, I, I could definitely do that. I could it's like definitely... the guys sat on the top of the Burj Khalifa. Or <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It's so funny. Yeah, just uh, generate some Susie holiday pics. <laughs> I, really I, I will do that now. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> guys, amazing. Susie went to the moon. <laughs> And I just finished with like you know what, what I think what the currently the most like boomer Facebook like comment uh, keyword is ending something with ellipses dot 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 just saying <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all cringe a little inside didn't we there we did. okay I think we're going to dark territory yeah. so we'll uh, we'll tighten the ship here uh, I'll see you guys a little bit through the week we're just sort yeah. of warming back into it then the show is back on Monday back on Monday Woo-hoo! yeah those bags are finally gone from under my eyes. <laughs>